Welcome to my lecture online. Here's rule number 15. It's still decimal, uh, exponents in decimal form, but in this case, the decimal is larger than 1. We use the same approach. We change it to a fraction, but then we separate the whole number in the exponent from the fractional number or from the, the number that's less than 1. For example, x to the 1.4 power is equal to x to the 1 plus 0 0.4, and once we have it in this format, we can write it as x to the first times x to the 0 0.4 because we know that when we multiply two numbers, the base are the same, then we can add the exponents so we can go from here to here, which means we can go from here back to here. Now, x to the first power is simply x, and x to the 0.4 power is x to the 4 tenths or x to the 2 fifths, which we saw before can be written as the fifth root of x squared. So we can see that it's kind of a long explanation to indicate a rule, but let's apply it to some practical examples. Let's say we have the number 32 raised to the 1.4 power. Just like before, we separate the whole number from the decimal number, from the fractional number. So we have 32 to the first power times 32 to the 0.4 power, which means 32 times 32 to the 4 tenths, or 32 times 32 to the 1 fifth. And of course, 1 fifth is the fifth root, so this can be written as 32 times the fifth root of 32. Well, the fifth root of 32 is 2, so it's 32 times 2, or 64. In other words, 32 raised to the 1.4 power is equal to 64. No calculator necessary. How about 16 to the 2.5 power? Again, the temptation is to run to the calculator to see what it is. But actually, we can write it as 16 to the second power times 16 to the 0.5 power. 0.5 is the same as 1 over 2, or 1 half, so this gives us 16 squared times 16 to the 1 half power. So this can be written as 16 squared times the square root, because to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root. The square root is 16, which is 4. 16 squared is 256, times 4 gives us 1024. In other words, 16 raised to the 2.5 power equals 1024. And that's how we use rule number 2, or I should say rule number 15, the second one of the decimal form of the rules. And you gotta say, you gotta admit, this is pretty slick. That's how it's done.